about half a year ago, I made a video where I put tiny players against giant players, but these all players were just custom players who were made to be the lowest setting. So I decided now this time to actually put the players who are the tiniest NHL players versus the largest NHL players. So here is Team Tiny. They're being the Roosters. We got a pretty decent first line here. Kind of trails off after that. Again, kind of same with the D. Very solid here. Then trails off. And goaltending is probably where we're the weakest with Enroth and Bachman. Uh, the requirements for this was they had to have one NHL game played this season. And skill did not matter. I went by whoever was the biggest or smallest. So as you can see, they've got a, in my opinion, a better team here. Way better offense. Uh, except it kind of trails off again. They're the same way. Uh, their defense is a lot better than ours. But their top two is really good. It's all because of those top two after that trails off. And then that they got the better goalie with the 6-7 uh, Ben Bishop. So everybody, let's going to put them against each other. So I'm not going to be playing here. I'm going to be staying out of it and let the two teams play. As we can see from here, uh, this team small has the way better offense according to this. But after that, uh, we're just going to call them Rooster and Sharks. Sharks have the better D and goaltending. All right, let's see here. Let's get them in some nice jerseys. I love EuroLeague jerseys, in my opinion. They're better than NHL jerseys. I mean, look at that. That's just cool to me. I love the red, white, and black. All right, come on. Let's start this. Again, look at those jerseys. It's going to be hard for me not to root for uh, Team Big just because I like those jerseys so much. They're, oh, he's going to get right behind the defense. <laughs> he takes it off the leg. Oh, whoever defense on that thing. That must have hurt. Can't injure your own players. Oh, Krug is going wide open and a shot on Bishop, nothing. See, that's another thing I have to look at this is uh, the big guys are going to be so slow that I'm the small Oh, shoot. Nice chance there that the small guys are going to have a way better time getting around the ice. Someone's got a broken stick out there. I think it was uh, one of the team big members. Yep, he's coming back on now. One on the four. Got to use that speed. Oh, that could have been a good hit there. Definitely want to see some good hits. Here we go. Here's King. He's coming off on the third line now. He's got nothing. Oh! Hunt saves would have been an easy tap in there. Here comes Burger Bay back the way, the smallest player in the NHL. He's got nothing. Smart play of him. Oh! Decent chance there. Ooh. Oh! Come on, someone get that puck. Alright. Here he comes up again. Oh, and the puck is thrown away by Bickle, who's in the AHL now. Come on, you can't let an AHL player steal a puck from you. Oh, wide down the ice and he scores. That one went in and out. <laughs> Who got that? I didn't see. I can't tell either from the face. Jimmy Hayes from Hansel and Bickle. Look at this hard shot. He shoots that. It goes straight out and in. Or straight in and out. Here come Hayes down the ice. His brother already got a goal. Can he get on the board too? Charles got it. And Ross plays it out. And we got a rush going to one on one. Rocco versus Tyler Myers. He goes to the side. He's got nothing. He's going to have to pass it back to his D here if he wants to keep the puck in control. Oh, and that one right in front. But the shot gets blocked. Now here comes Wheeler up the ice. It's a one on two about. Oh, he fakes it, but it gets stolen away. And here comes Connor Sheila. Shirley, I think that's how you say it. Kevin Hayes with the puck now. Ooh, he gets hit when the guy knocks down instead of him. And this is now, an, oh, and they're just going to dump it in and go for the change. All right, here we go. Two, uh, or three on two. And nope, okay, everyone gets in the zone now. It's nothing. In front. Nice soft. Inside of the enforcers in there. Too. Oh, and here comes McCarran on a breakaway. Oh, but he gets... See, that's the speed right there. I was talking about the small guys. They got it. There we go. See? They use their speed. They trapped him. And they're going to have one last chance here down the ice. And it's um, Paul Bryan. Gia oh, Gianni gets the puck steal away. Oh, two steals steal away. Oh, two steals there. Ah, uh, they get a shot off. But that's it for the first. All right, after the first, the total shots are nine for the team small roosters. Hits are 2 1. Definitely was hoping for more hits. Uh, so far, I have to say the uh, smaller guys did better. Just got one really good opportunity there for the uh, Team Big Sharks. 
All right, here comes Weir to start the second. That pass was somewhat blocked. They're playing a wall here with the small. Oh, he gets past it. Anytime they have a good shot out there, it's kind of scary. Here comes a 12-year-old down the ice. Three on two. What's he gonna do? To Johnson. Good. Ooh, ooh, nice chance. And Bishop just covers it. I think the hardest part of this is just gonna be uh, the Roosters team small just beating Bishop. He's an 88 and he's big and it might be too hard for them. Oh, <laughs> never mind. As I say that, they score. Cam Actison with a nice shot, a nice setup. Oh, don't let him follow you. Don't let him hit you from behind. Oh, he's down. Ooh, that was a weak shot. Back to Chara. To Hayes. <laughs> Missed the net. Chara's got it again. It's impossible to get the puck off him. Oh, you know, with another hit. Now he's got it. Oh, what a save by Enro off there. Damn. That's a pretty good one. All right, here comes Team Small now. Trying to get their first lead. He's trying to go in. Can't. He's got nothing. Tries to throw it out in front. And this is going to be icing. All right. Team Small went in the face off so far, and I win another one. Warcops, he's walking in to take a shot. He scores! <gasps> Pretty textbook play right there. Just like that, Bishop is going up too. And now the Smalls have their first lead of the game halfway through the game. Seven minutes left. Here we go. Three on three or non nothing. No rush. Russell. Giantas in the spell. Oh, he scores! <laughs> nice little goal there. Okay, after two periods. Goals of 3-1. Shots 16-12. Hits. A very physical game here with a total of five hits. Four for the big guy sharks and one for the little roosters. Um, same thing as the first. Faceoffs are even though now, so third period, Team Big's going to need to mount a comeback. Another turnover there. They keep giving turnovers. This one leads to another chance right in front. Count Hayes now. Wheeler's got it up. Again, they're just playing great defense here, the little guys. They're not getting as many good chances. They can't get anything in front. They're having to take all bad angle shots. And here's another one. Nice opportunity there. Bishop plays out and gets the save. Either way, results. Oh, they still got it in front. And nothing out of it. Hansel now will get it out to Bickle. Again, Bickle just goes down the side and they will not let them get anything in front. Through with the takeaway. And they're marching out of the zone again. Oh, he's going to get... Oh, with the move and he gets a shot on goal. Out the ice again. Again, nothing in front. They're not going to be able to get anything in front. That was probably their best chance of the third so far. They're not getting anything. Oh, there's the decent net. That's their best chance now. And Roth is just going to cover this now. One versus three. And he gets a dump in the middle. Another wide shot down the middle. Defensively, they are not a good team. You know, all, their whole game's been around the goaltending. Gianta now is going to take it out. Time is running out for Team Big Sharks. Ooh, and another goal. That's a bad one for Bishop Lyon. He wasn't getting screened at all. And he was at the top of the hash marks. He was above the hash marks, actually. That's a weak one for Bishop. Very weak goal there. He should have had that. They're just pa Oh, there's a decent shot. Break someone's stick. Can they capitalize on the broken stick? Less than five minutes left. Just gotta waste time now. Don't do anything stupid. Oh, he's gonna get wide open. Nothing much on that one. Missed the net. Broken stick in the middle of the ice still. They can't get it through the center again. They gotta stop trying it. They keep trying to feed into the middle. It's not working and it's cost them the game. Hey, he's just gonna go up trying to get one last rush. They need something quick if they're gonna... Oh! Oh, it's one open and he scores. Rebound off of him and he scores easily. Big up, Bickle gets it. His second point of the game. 42 seconds left now. They're going to pull the goalie probably right off the face off. All right, right as soon as they get across the them. Yep, pulling the goalie. Just don't dump it in on the extra. Oh, Zuccarello's got this. Oh, nope. Easy goal for Johnson. 
Five, two. Thirty seconds left now, this is it. No miracle unless they can score a goal every ten seconds. Maybe one more goal here for Team Small. <laughs> a little decent one there, kind of slow. Ooh, and a whiff on that one. Either way, 10 seconds left. 8, 7, or 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> and that's it. Team Small takes. So here's the box score. Basically, after the first, it looked like Team Big might just actually have it. Then... Team Small Roosters just ran away with it. Three stars. First star is Brian Bickle. Oh, wow. I think you need to win for that. Yeah, but the final game stats here a total of 11 hits, 10 for Team Big. Shots 25 to 14. And pretty even on Tyler Attack and everything like that. Face offs, Team Big ended up winning. Thanks for watching, everybody.